Yeah. You know, Joe, we were scheduled to speak to St. Augs Interim President Marcus Burgess this afternoon following that accreditation hearing yesterday, but he backed out. So we found a consultant, an accreditation consultant, who could provide critical insight into this process. This is this is a serious situation for that institution. John Boone runs an accreditation consulting firm, assisting universities with reports needed to be in compliance with SACS. He has more than 25 years of experience watching as the 157 year old HBCU faces financial challenges that's led to its accreditation being at risk. The, the president of St. Aug and probably his chief financial officer um, going to SACS, they appear in front of appeals committee. Boone says as the committee hears the case, there are likely 10 to 12 people in the room telling me St. Augs had to bring critical financial documents to the table to support their case as to why they should remain accredited. It is financial in nature. I also noticed that they'll have to bring audits. So, you know, if, I don't know if they had, were able to pull the trigger quickly on an audit uh, between November and, and February. He says hearings are private, which means we'll all have to wait for the committee to render a decision. But if the HBCU loses its accreditation, Boone says the federal government could yank financial aid to support student enrollment. Hell money, that kind of thing. Stafford loans would all be um, cut off from the institution and those students. And for a private institution, uh, enrollment is really kind of the bread and butter of their budget. Um, they really um, use that to support the institution. And as for students, Boone says this could put their degrees at risk. You don't know how that case is going to go. And you want to try to protect the credits that you've earned so that if you can take them somewhere else to be able to finish the degree. And we've reported that if the appeal is rejected, the HBCU is prepared to take legal action. Again, we won't hear from SACS until next week, but if you're interested in looking at those documents from SACS on the appeals process, just head to abc11.com.